In today's video, we're going to explore a collection of service stack Razor templates that support Tailwind and use ES modules to provide instant feedback during development with great performance and component reuse. .NET Razor Pages is a great tool when adding server-rendered pages to your application, but most web applications still need a level of interactive enhancements using JavaScript or other front-end technologies. Most Microsoft templates are still based on Bootstrap for CSS and front-end design, which has lacked the consistency of Tailwind when it comes to utility classes, making Bootstrap less portable and prone to breaking changes. This combined with the continued inclusion of jQuery and jQuery validation by default can make getting started with more modern patterns of building web applications with Razor harder than it should be. To address this, ServerStack has added a series of additional templates around Razor that come with Tailwind and make use of ES modules for a more modern development experience. ES modules are supported in all modern browsers, and with IE11 falling out of support in June of 2022, there are few reasons not to use ES modules directly in your web application, as they provide several important advantages. For example, asynchronous imports directly from URLs means we don't actually need to install packages as a part of any build process. Webpack and other tools solved the problem of wanting to develop using more modern versions of JavaScript while still needing to support browsers that didn't. ES5 was a common target for many years since IE11 had full support and was still widely used in enterprise environments. Now with features coming faster to all modern supported browsers, this is much less of a concern and developers can benefit by not only making their JavaScript easier to read and write, but by removing that build process entirely to improve development feedback loops. You can install any of these templates using the servicestack.net x tool, using the command x new, the name of the template, followed by a project name of your choice. We also have included a Razor Pages template which still uses Bootstrap for CSS, but does include the use of ES modules for those that still prefer to use Bootstrap for their applications. Let's now go through the templates quickly one by one to show what features each template has and how they can be used during development. Starting with Razor Tailwind, we can use the command x new space Razor hyphen Tailwind space my Razor app to create our solution. Once created, we can open the solution with our favorite .NET IDE and run the built-in npm scripts of dev and ui colon dev to run .NET watch and the Tailwind process via npx. In the package.json, you'll notice we don't have any npm package dependencies listed because we are loading the dependencies using ES modules directly from URLs and local paths. If we open the underscore layout.cshtml file in the pages shared directory, we can see an import map function loading what we'll need into each page with an easy to use familiar alias. In the signup.cshtml file under the pages directory, we can see that these aliases are used to import view, and we are importing our own components directly from .mjs files hosted in the www root folder. These are view 3 components used to progressively enhance your client-side application that you can easily mount and reuse on any of your Razor pages. For example, while our application is running, let's edit the gettingstarted.mjs component to show the hot reload capabilities. We can update the HTML and use of Tailwind CSS with ease and all of our changes are quickly reflected in our browser. We don't have a node modules directory or any dependencies installed, and we are using and importing libraries like Vue to iterate quickly on our application. If you are using JetBrains Rider, we can add a non-operational dev dependency to your package.json file to give us a much better development experience for our view components. 
This change doesn't actually use the installed dependency, but it does enable the View IDE plugin support for better autocomplete and syntax highlighting. The Razor Tailwind template also has a blog, to do and contacts example written using Razor, Tailwind, and View ES module components. The blog example shows how you can create a content rich site using Markdown while still getting the hot reload functionality to edit and preview your content instantly. The blog content itself is related documentation for these templates, so if you want to learn more about working with each template with Rider, Visual Studio, or other topics, they are right there in your project ready to use. The Razor Tailwind template can be used for a wide range of use cases. The use of view components is done on a page by page basis rather than as a traditional single page application. So we get a flexible hybrid of server and client side components, which can be customized to each page. This multi-page application approach avoids the complexities of client-side routing and heavy client-side state, which lets the standard browser behavior handle more of this functionality for you. Next, we have the Web Tailwind template, which is a minimalist template that incorporates Tailwind ready for you to add your business-specific dependencies and structure as needed. This template also might be useful in a microservice environment where you need to add an additional hosted service that also needs very basic HTML rendering, but still want to use Tailwind to do the styling. The same instant hot reload experience is there for both static files and Razor pages alike, so you can edit and preview your changes instantly, shortening your iteration loops. Next, we have the MVC Tailwind template, which is for teams that want to continue using Microsoft libraries like Entity Framework and Identity for authentication, while still getting the benefits of Service Stack services. An example of one of those benefits being the use of Add Service Stack Reference, which has been expanded to support ES modules and MJS files. Under the www root MJS folder, there is a DTOs.mjs file which contains ES modules for all the request and response DTOs for our Service Stack services. As you build out your services, you can easily keep your client and server contracts in sync using our built-in IDE tools or by running the command xmjs from the directory containing your client DTOs file. Lastly, we will look at the Vue.mjs template, which brings together the best parts of all these technologies into one template. Not only can the blog markdown content be used to pre-render static HTML files that are enhanced with your own view components dynamically, but we have also added our bookings example to this application that uses our service stack view component library. This component library provides direct integration with service stack services, enabling server validation to flow all the way down to your UI components. These components are flexible and can be composed together to rapidly create UIs for your service stack services with minimal effort, all while still getting that rapid development experience from hot reloads. Service stack's Razor templates focus on making development more interactive when building your front ends. The faster you can see the results of your changes, the sooner you can validate your work, get feedback, and continue to improve your application. Tailwind lets you use portable components that can drop straight into your application from quality component services like Tailwind CSS and others, reducing the need for your own designer. ES modules and MJS files means you no longer have a build step for your front end or need to manage your local node module dependencies. Each page stands on its own, meaning you can avoid single page application pitfalls like client side routing and heavy client state. And with the addition of the Service Stack View 3 components that integrate with your services, we get a rapid development setup without sacrificing the client server type safety thanks to the Service Stack tooling. Whether you want to start with batteries included, prefer entity framework, or just want a minimal place to start, 
You can choose the best template that works for your project and team and still get all the advantages from combining Razor, Tailwind and ES modules to improve the development process. Well that's it for this video, if you have any suggestions or feedback about our templates or videos, let us know in the comments. If you want to know more, check out our other videos and join us in the ServiceStack community through our Discord and GitHub discussions. ServiceStack is free for individuals and open source projects so anyone is welcome, and as always, thanks for watching.